Okay, so while I do like Blue Apron as far as the recipes and stuff like that, I could probably look them up online and buy the stuff that I need. But it's cool how everything comes, you know, how they package everything. But I will say that I'm considering canceling it because the last three times something's been wrong, which it wasn't a big deal. But once you start adding those things up, it's just like, okay, like what's my deal breaker? What's going to be the deciding factor of me canceling this subscription service? If something's messed up in there and you have to go to the store anyway, like if it happens enough times, it's like, okay, well, I might as well just go to the store myself. First... Um, it was just like a poblano pepper that had like a hole in it or whatever. No biggie. I can go to the store, get another poblano, whatever. But I did let them know just to give them feedback. I didn't ask for any discount or anything, but I did say, hey, usually everything comes intact. This time it didn't blah. So then the next time left out an ingredient, it was like yellow tomato, yellow tomato pasta or something. And they left out the yellow tomatoes. So... I had to go find the yellow tomatoes, um, which it wasn't like a big, huge, expensive thing, but it's inconvenient if I've decided that I'm going to pay for this box of food and then I'm going to still have to go to the grocery store to get the stuff for the box of food that I got from you. This shit this doesn't make sense. So, but anyway, like I said, one or two things, it's easy to overlook, but once it starts happening over and over, you start to pay attention. So anyway, this last time, I noticed the last two times that they did change carriers for who delivers their food, and that matters as well, folks. I'm not going to say who delivers it now, but ever since, I, I can just think back, I guess, ever since this carrier started to handle their shipping, it's not been good. So, the time, the box was a day late. So, you know, they're packing fresh food in these boxes, and it's sent from somewhere that's close to you. Mine comes from a place that's probably a four-hour drive from me. So when they ship it, it should be quick. You know what I mean? But they put ice in there so that it stays frozen or everything stays fresh. And I think that they have like like two days max on that. Because there have been times when I've received the order and not been able to unpack it until the night that I received it. And everything's been fresh and it's still been ice in there. So but this last time, they left out a whole meal. All they had in there for that meal was the protein. That's it. They left out everything else <laughs> that go along with it. So I just made something myself with the things that I already had, with the protein that was in there. But I did let them know, listen, you were supposed to send me three meals, but you did not. You sent me two meals, one extra protein. So I guess I could have used that protein on one of the other meals. But the point is, like, I didn't order a box with two meals in it. So now... I got an email yesterday because my most recent box was supposed to be delivered yesterday. And they got I got a message saying that it was delayed again. So they just got to work this situation out better because I'm just saying. I'm not going to say the name of the carrier that they're using, but they need to switch back to the carrier that they were using that was delivering their stuff. Anyway, it's not working out. Um, so today, my food's supposed to come. If I get that stuff and anything is wrong like i'm not going to be able to keep doing it because i'm paying you guys to send me food that i could just really go out to the grocery store and buy myself and it'll be fresh when it gets here because <laughs> i'll make sure of that video when I was talking about the blue apron stuff it was in the morning it was like before 12 o'clock so now it is 7 36 p.m. we just got our box so we about to see how this box looking what condition this box is in 
put these over here. And I'll cover the out. <laughs> anyway, okay. So this is the first time that I've ever had them leave a package downstairs at the mailbox. So with that being said, I'm gonna go in to see if we have everything we need to have for this box. Did they include all the meals they were supposed to include? The box looks like it's in good shape. So, I mean, let's just go see what's happening. The first thing I wanna check to see is if everything's still cold. Is there still ice left? What's going on? Everything smells okay. So we got, we got some bok choy right here. We got some kale dripping we got some more bok choy that is spoiled right here you guys can see that it's very spoiled that's disappointing so we got a little itty bitty teeny weeny garlic that we usually get whenever we get garlic from them another knickknack bag this stuff seems cool but it doesn't seem cold so we'll see we got some udon noodles it's still chilled. We got some carrots. We got some mushrooms. They still look decent. We got another knickknack bag. And we have some sweet potatoes, which are a little bit over room temperature. So they're not like cold, but they're not warm either. So the, the thing is completely saturated because it's probably been melting all day um, the day before. So it's pretty soggy. So there is still a little bit of ice in the middle of this. So I'm confident that the other stuff is good. Cold is no ice left in the middle. So we have the peppers. The peppers look okay. And the salmon is here. Some more chicken breast pieces chicken breast strips here okay so i will say that because it's still ice in here i'm gonna go ahead and trust that the seafood is still fresh when i open it up i will smell it but i am going to probably have to incorporate this into our meal starting tonight i'm um, going into, into tomorrow because i mean the longer i wait the worse it'll be let me see we have some baked parmesan and panko crusted salmon we have one pan udon noodle and spicy peanut stir fry. And I got chicken teriyaki and aromatic rice, which is probably going to be like tomorrow because my son doesn't eat meat. So um, we're either going to do the salmon or this udon noodle. We're probably going to do this because I'm going to make the TikTok version of the salmon sushi bowl that's going around. So check my Instagram for that. Anyway, see you guys later. It turned out to be okay. Um, there was one thing that was spoiled and I will be giving them my feedback about that. Okay? Okay, bye. It's pretty soggy in here. It's like a little piece of ice left in this one, which was like the saving, probably the saving grace for that. There's a little piece of ice left in there too. So everything should be okay. Should be good.